In this video, we're gonna talk about how to debug LVS black box issues. You will see a complete simple design with and without black box. Keep in mind that black box should not cause incorrect LVS. Make sure that LVS black box ports are well defined and the port's depth of the black box is not causing ports exclusion during LVS run. For debugging purposes, you can check ports.gz in the SVDB directory to make sure that the correct black box ports are recognized. In this simple test case, we're going to run LVS without black box and see the results. If the comparison result correct, then we should expect black box to give the same result. As you can see, comparison result is correct. So let's open the design using Caliber DRV and see which cell we're going to apply black box to. This is the top level cell of the design adder underscore 4. And this is the cell we're going to apply black box to one underscore bit. Going to the cell one underscore bit to see what's inside and identify the black box ports, you will notice that the cell instantiates another cell's inside. Note that the cell has more than one pin in C, B0, B1, C0, VDD and ground and finally out one so we have seven pins on different layers in order to define black box ports you need to know these three layers the original layer which is the black box port layer inside the black box cell the text layer which is the text layer of the attached text on the port layer and finally, the connect layer, which is the layer used to connect to the black box ports on the top level cell. And since this is the black box cell, we can now know the original and text layers for the port definition. It seems that the seven pins of the cell are on two different layers, metal one and metal two. And the texts attached are on text metal 1 and text metal 2 as shown in the DRV. The next step is to go to the top level cell where the black box is instantiated and identify the connect layers. Increasing the depth of the DRV view will show us the connection between the ports and the higher level cell. For example, pin NC is connected on metal 2 and ground 1 is connected on metal 1. In this case, it seems that the connect layers are the same as the original layers metal 1 and metal 2. So let's adjust the test case setup with black boxing 1 underscore bit cell and use metal 2 layer only for black box ports definition and rerun. As you can see, LVS result is incorrect. Going to the LVS report to see why LVS is incorrect, this section shows that only 4 pins of the black box were recognized. However, there are 7 pins in the source, and it was shown earlier in the layout that there were 7 as well. In order to debug the black box ports issues, you will find the GDS generated in the SVDB directory named ports.gz. In order to show this GDS as a file, you need to show all the file types as shown and click on it. This GDS shows that only four ports of the black box were recognized and all are on one single layer which is given a random number 4 in this GDS. Going back to the original layout to see which pins are missing, you will find that ground and VDD are missing because they are on metal 1 which was not added to the black box ports definition. So let's adjust the test case setup again by defining both metal 2 and metal 1 for black box ports and then rerun. In this case, LVS comparison result is still incorrect. To confirm that the ports on metal 1 are recognized, reload the gds ports.gz. 
generated in the SVDB directory. As shown, another layer is now recognized with its ports appearing in the GDS. And now the LVS report shows 6 pins recognized in the layout, however there is one still missing which is OUT1 highlighted in yellow. So let's see what's special about this port OUT1 in the original GDS. This layout shows that OUT1 text is attached on a polygon that is in lower level of hierarchy not in the black box top level. Increasing the depth of the view will show this polygon. Here is the polygon. It seems that the pore is recognized only on the black box top level and the depth is primary. The solution here is to increase the black box port's recognition depth. Now adjust the test case by increasing the depth to recognize ports from lower level of hierarchy and then rerun. And finally, the LVS comparison result is correct. Going back to ports.gz GDS that shows recognized black box ports and reloading it, we will find that port out1 is now recognized on the correct layer. And also, reloading the LVS report now shows LVS correct and 7 pins recognized for the cell 1 underscore bit.